What's up, YouTube? Jeff back again to another exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today, do I have a treat for you? We've been waiting for this one for so long. Samsung has finally pushed out the Home Up update for One UI 7.0. And yes, you can run it on your Galaxy S25 Ultra. You just need to do a little bit of trickery. Uh, it doesn't work with the regular Good Lock update that was just pushed a few weeks ago. Um, I will drop the Home Up APK below. It's rolling out in the Galaxy Store steadily, you know, kind of gradually as usual. It'll take some time, but if you want to explore it early, today I have a preview to show you guys. Before we get started, remind you guys to check out our website, samiguru.com, latest Samsung news, tips, tricks, tutorials, and reviews. If you haven't yet, tap on the orange banner at the top of the site. You can get in our mystery box program if you're still going to buy a Galaxy S25 device you haven't purchased yet. All you have to do is buy through one of our links here, our affiliate links, fill out the verification form, and you'll get a free case, cleaning kit, desktop phone stand. These do close on February 7th um, for the pre-order period. We are going to start doing some mystery gifts on a rolling basis. So if you're going to buy an S25 later, definitely come back to the website, bookmark it. We'll have a cool program starting soon that will be outside of the pre-order period. Anyway, that's below if you guys would like to check it out. All right, so let's talk about this Home Up update. We've been waiting for it for a long time. Tarun Vats over on X last night talked about the update. He also posted the APK. Um, Home Up receives the most awaited update, version 16.0.00.56, One UI 7 support and home gesture animation tuning. There's a quite a long change log here, even though it looks short here in the uh, Galaxy Store screenshot. I didn't have it in the Galaxy Store yet, so I'll tell you guys how you can run the APK if you want soon. Uh, you've got new features, do-it-yourself home, which is amazing, home gesture animation tuning, and a new edge panel editor. I'll go through all of those in just a second. If you don't have it in the Galaxy Store, You'll need to download the APK. Again, always exercise caution when installing third-party APKs. I am going to say that I installed the one from Tarun. It was perfectly fine, but you should always be careful with that. Now, if you're on the Galaxy S24 series and running the One UI 7 beta, Home Up is going to work fine just inside the standard good lock. However, if you have a Galaxy S25, you're going to notice that once you install this uh, Home Up module, the new Home Up update, you're not going to find it anywhere in the new good lock. So this is the new good lock update that just came out, Good Lock 2025. Even if you install the new Home Up, it's not compatible yet inside Good Lock on One UI 7 for the S25 series. What you'll need to do is install Fine Lock from the Galaxy Store, rather the Play Store, Galaxy Store, Play Store, the Google Play Store, just to be clear, because some people don't realize there's a difference. Uh, Fine Lock is basically a Home Up or Good Lock launcher. It launches the modules. A lot of people have used this for a long time uh, in regions where Good Lock was restricted. Anyway, once you download and install the new Home Up, and then you install Fine Lock. You'll see all the modules here. You'll see Home Up. It does show up once you install the update. Go ahead and tap right there on that. I'm gonna launch it. And now we can get into the new features. Now, some of these are similar features to what we had in the past. I'll start with the more boring stuff and then we'll get to the really exciting stuff because there's a lot to talk about. Task Changer, basically the same features as we had in Home Up before. You can change your Task Changer from Tilt Stack, which is the default, to Grid, Vertical List, or Slim List. You guys can see there. I like Grid, it's what I've always used. I use it a lot in my videos. People have asked me about it many times where I get it. Mini mode, which shows the small recent app list at the bottom of the screen in portrait mode. App labels, you can turn this on. And also the search bar, which you guys can see right here at the top. I have the search icon inside of my task changer. So that's been there for a while. Share manager. Share manager allows you to basically turn on which applications are on your share cards when you share an item. Um, you can show direct share or not show quick share devices, and you can also kind of tweak all of your various quick share preferences, allow sharing on the over the internet if you don't have direct connection, um, how to share with contacts, private sharing settings are all there as well. Add your favorite direct share so I can like choose someone, so like my wife, if I'm interested, you know, if there's someone like, let's say my writers who meet at Sammy Guru and Abnav, I share stuff with them a lot. They could be my favorites there at the top uh, if I'm gonna share something. So this is nice, you can customize your share menu, but it's also something we've had uh, for quite a while. So that's not really something that's really that new. Okay, up next, so we talked about the share manager, the task changer. Uh, now we have backup and restore. This is just a simple tool to do automatic backups. I don't have this on right now, but it's not a very crazy tool. We've also had this for a while, it's not really that new. That leaves us with the three things that are get massive overhauls and entirely new features, home screen, gesture settings, and edge panel. So let's talk about the home screen settings first. Some of these are things we've had before. You've got app icon settings, which will let you change the icon size here. Show item label on the home screen, show item label on the app screen. 
you know, if you want to have your app label there versus there, depending on how you want to change that, turn that on, tweak your preferences. Background blur control here. You can turn your background blur rate, uh, rate here. Remove most of the blur if you want to turn it off mostly entirely there at the bottom. Loop pages, another option we've had for a while. You can either do this on the home screen or you can turn it off. Finder access, you can turn this on on the home screen. Keep in mind if you have the option to swipe down to get your notifications, if you turn this on, it's going to remove that. So if you turn finder access on, you're not gonna get notifications when you swipe down. Now you're gonna get your finder when you swipe down. I'm gonna skip this one because you guys probably noticed my crazy home screen and that's what you can do with the DIY home screen. We'll come back to that. Hot seat, your favorite max count. You got this you know, at the bottom here, there's five right now. You can change that now. Uh, in fact, you can go all the way up to nine. Jeez, very cool. Show favorites or not, if you wanna get more screen real estate. Move the app buttons if you're using the three button nav. I'm using gestures, so it doesn't really apply. App list columns, you can now go all the way up to seven. So if you're like me and you don't mind having small icons in your app list, you can do that if you want. It's really, really nice in my opinion. Change your folder screen grid. Uh, maximum option is seven by seven. Change your folder icon grid, five by five. I like four by four on both personally. Pop up folder as usual, large folders, and apply folder background color, which means if you tap on here, it's gonna apply the folder background color there. Um, you can see here when you go in. So, very cool stuff. You guys can see there are a few little bugs there as I was navigating between the two screens for home up. Um, but I think that might have to do more with fine lock running home up and it's not fully compatible yet with the S25 because it's not in good lock. So I'm going to cut them a little slack considering how many changes have been made. So let's go back into the do it yourself home screen. This is in beta, as you saw there with a the little red beta stamp. Decorate your home screen by adding various stickers. You can use more stickers from the store through the plus button. Drag the target in the picture you want long pressing and sticker directly through the home button. Freely move items on the home screen to decorate the home screen and use various easy and convenient editing functions from the selected sticker. When hold down the arrow up or down buttons, item moves directly to the top or back end. So the way this works is if you've got gestures, just swipe up, uh, sorry, not swipe up, long press on the home screen, just getting used to this myself, there's so many new things. DIY home is at the top, tap on that. You can freeform move all of your things on your home screen. You guys see how I made this crazy layout with my widgets, with my icons, with my folder, you can basically add any stickers you want as well in various functionalities and forms. I'm not much of a sticker guy, but there's a lot of cool things to choose from. If you want to decorate your home screen with a sticker, you've got text, you've got doodles here. If you go plus here, right there in the corner, you're going to be able to get more stamps. Some of them are paid and the paid ones are usually the ones that are recommended first, but you don't have to use any of the paid ones, obviously. Uh, if you tap on something, you can rotate it. You can see this here. See how this like moves it in front or behind the layer right there? It's kind of like a layer editor if you're doing something in Photoshop or photo editor. You can just drag this, you know, and expand. Now, if you select, see how they both have the white and not the dotted? You have to deselect it if you don't want your expansion to expand that as well. You'll notice though, because it was getting to the edge, you can see right here, it's telling me I can't do that anymore. Now you can, if you have room, expand it a little bit larger. That's as large as it will go though. So you can freeform expand these to various sizes. Again, you have to get a little used to this because you can already see here, you have to select only the one you wanna edit. So you've got ultimate freedom, but it also makes things a little difficult to move around and edit, but it's very, very nice. You've got 100% control here. Down here, you can see what this will do. It will tilt it right here, just straighten it up and tilt it back to where kind of the default would be. You can also undo and redo delete your changes. This thing is just absolutely phenomenal. If you highlight two at the same time, it'll apply those changes to both of those selected items, either an icon, a widget, whatever. You basically have unlimited control to what you can do. Now, the one thing you can't do here is you can't really adjust, and also these right here, move things around a little bit, as they were talking about, front end, back end. You can do some crazy things there. Uh, and then you can back out, you know, and then you can, so you can play, you can do some crazy stuff with this. You guys can see how now it's like cut off. Let's go back into, uh, let's go back into DIY home. And uh, so now once you get back in here though, you can see piece of this got deleted. So it only has part of the widget now. You can do some really insane stuff. Uh, you can reset this entirely. 
So if you're not super happy with what you've done, uh, you can go back into Vine Lock. So let's go back in there. Let's reset it. And then that will reset it back to whatever you had when you started doing the DIY. So if you're not happy with something that you did, now you can go back in here, play with it again, kind of get things the way you want them again. And uh, yeah, it's just amazing. I, I love what Samsung did here. It's crazy. Uh, it's something that only Samsung could really do. And this is why we love Samsung, at least in my opinion. It's why I love Samsung, because I can really do anything I want now with my home screen. And it's going to be unique to everybody. So this is one of the craziest new features they've brought. Uh, I absolutely love it. There's going to be polarizing opinions, I'm sure. But let me know what you guys think about DIY home screen. So those are all the home screen settings. Up next, we've got the edge panel over here. You can now edit your edge panel to get more columns uh, and run more favorite items at once without scrolling and also scroll through recent apps section to see more recent apps. So if you go to your edge panel here, what they mean is you can scroll up here, your recent apps, and then over here you have more columns. So here, when you go to your edit, you can add you know as many apps as you want really. It's just gonna keep adding stuff over here to your favorites. Uh, way more than you could before. You've got multiple columns and you have scroll. That's mostly what's been added here. It's really cool. You can also show your edge panel in immersive mode so even when the app is in full screen mode, you can utilize the edge panel. Absolutely love this feature, adding more customization to your home screen via the edge panel. Now the main attraction, which I think everyone's been waiting for with this home up update, gesture setting tuning. There's so much here that I'm gonna go through it, but I'm probably gonna make a separate video on the advanced tuning because otherwise this video is gonna get long and some people are not gonna wanna do that. I actually set my home gesture animation tuning to advanced. So I'll briefly show you the options up here, which are the ones most people should use. Classic, which is basically the default. Elegance, which is basically a very soft, kind of emotive, emotionally, that's what Samsung calls it, gesture. Dynamic, faster and more dynamic. It's a little bit more jarring to me. Sweet, which is a lot slower and emotive. Um, that's one that I really don't like that much. I kind of like classic or elegance. And then with simple tuning, you can find somewhere in between. So I was able to find one right around here, maybe the progress like a little bit 10% above the middle towards fast is one that I like there. But then with advanced tuning, you can literally take control of everything to do with your settings. Uh, I'm gonna go through this briefly here and I'll make a more in-depth video to talk about what all these parameters do. Samsung does talk about it, but some of these things are a little complicated. You can tune the icon movement using damping, stiffness, and friction. Icon scale using damping, stiffness, and the cubic bezier curve, which basically determines how the scale animates as the icon goes from, you know, as your app goes from open into the icon. That's what the icon scale interpolator from the bezier curve does. Tracking position uh, tells you where the target on the icon will be when it does the animation. You can also change the Interpolation for the transparency, which again uses the cubic bezier curve to do that. Wallpaper, you can change the max scale of the wallpaper, basically gonna show you kind of where it's gonna crop out to when you do the animations. Change the duration of the wallpaper animation as well. As you play with this, it will show you what's happening up there. So you can dial it into your preferences. You also have full control with the cubic bezier curve as well. If you want to go ahead and take full control with the wallpaper animation as well and you can turn on blur when going home with a gesture or not. Obviously, I love blur, it looks beautiful. Home screen scale, you can change the min or max scale, the vertical move, the duration, and of course, if you wanna take full control again, you can utilize the home screen interpolator, which uses the cubic bezier curve again. I'm gonna do a full deep dive along with some recommended settings after I play with this. I've been using this for like three hours, so yeah, obviously I tuned it to some things that I liked, but I'm gonna play around with it, try to find the optimal settings or three or four different optimal settings using advanced tuning and make a video and give those to you guys so you can tune them, try them out and see if you like my suggestions. Anyway, that's just the home screen gesture animation tuning. We also have home screen gesture vibration. You can turn that on or off. Improved gesture sensitivity in the pay zone. That means down here with Samsung wallet, if you use Samsung wallet. Allow bottom gestures in full screen mode. Gesture top priority setting and bottom gesture sensitivity setting, you can change this here to your liking. I'm pretty much fine with how that is, but the Samsung wallet gesture is nice because it makes it so that when you're trying to trigger the wallet, 
it triggers the wallet. And when you're not, it doesn't. Um, so I definitely recommend turning this on. I've been playing with that a little bit. Uh, and then this is really just a setting for, you know, your own personal preference. When there's interference between the gesture and the app area, it takes advantage of the gesture's priority. If you want that, you can turn that on as well. But this is the real attraction, home screen gesture animation tuning, uh, along with, in my opinion, some of the changes they've made here, like the DIY home screen, just leaks for an amazing experience. You're not gonna get this anywhere else. You're not gonna get this with an iPhone. You're not just gonna get this on any other Android OEM. This is why Samsung is the best in the world at what they do. And I absolutely love it. I'm glad I'm on this ride with you guys. I appreciate you guys checking out the content. Again, if you guys wanna check out the website, we'll have more coverage of this over there. If you guys did get in the Mystery Box program, Wave 1 boxes are going out now. Wave 2 will ship next week. You should have got your emails already, confirmation emails. Uh, if you didn't, get in touch with us. If you still want to buy a box, use our link, verify it, we'll ship you out a box. Appreciate you guys checking out the video. Let me know what you guys think about the new home up. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.